This is a 1989 560SL that I purchased from the original owner in Palm Springs, California, and had it shipped in an enclosed trailer to my house in Connecticut about 10 years ago. We've owned the car since then. It's been fairly trouble-free, just necessary maintenance, which I do all myself. And just as one of many cars that I have in my collection, never been a daily driver, only taken out in beautiful weather, and consequently, it's never been in the rain since we've owned it. So the top goes down in the spring and goes up in the fall. And we put it away for the winter and trickle charge it. And it lives covered up in a climate control garage. When we got the car, I decided a few things needed to be done. One of the wheels had some scratches on it. So I elected to send all four wheels out to a professional wheel company in Pennsylvania and had all four refinished. They had no physical damage, they just needed to be refinished. At the same time, I put all new brake shoes in the car, replaced all of the filters, uh, and put a stainless steel exhaust system in it. The old one was looking a little bit tired, and I found a company in Florida that makes all stainless steel exhaust systems for show cars and restorations and the like. And it's been wonderful, it's quiet, it's the last muffler you're ever gonna need. The car itself is showing no evidence of any problems. All of the VIN number stickers are still intact and everything seems to work okay. Uh, of course, living in Southern California means that some of the rubbers, like the grommet for the radio antenna, the windshield washer nozzles, and some of the others degrade from the sun, and they were, those were replaced soon after I obtained the car. The trunk is clean, spare tire is still in there, the original never been used. You'll see it in the photographs. But listen to the listen to the quality of this closing. Beautiful. The rear bumper cover was replaced. I suspect that the original owners were golfers and they probably used to pick up golf clubs and stack the bags or stick them or hang them, put them on the rear bumper, scratching it. And rather than try and fight with that, it made sense just to get a new skin for it and put it on. So that is brand new. All the other rubbers are original for the outside of the car. Proper gas flap. Power mirrors work. I should remember to take the car out of drive when I stop it. Mirrors work, lamps work in the mirrors, both of them. Everything is functional. Door cards are original. No issues there. Everything's nice and shiny, as it should be. The leather is virtually perfect after all these years. Just do typical maintenance on it. Let's open the hood. So as you know, the underhood insulations always go in these cars. And so that was replaced, both of them, when I got it. And the proper ones from Mercedes Benz were, been, were put in. Other than that, uh, over the years, and more recently, again, I have replaced the spark plugs, the ignition wires, the fuel injectors with their uh, sleeves, um, all the filters. Uh, in the back, the, both fuel pumps were replaced recently. And it's needed a new master cylinder within the last six months. Accumulator valve in the back was replaced. This bottle here, the original was yellowed badly, so for no reason other than, you know, its color, I, I decided to replace it. So it's that's was replaced 10 years ago, and as you can see, it's not yellowed. Radiator is original, all of this is original to the car. Air conditioning 
It has been converted to R134. Over the winter, the car was sent down to a major Mercedes restoration facility in Georgia to have the climate control system gone over. The vacuum pods tend to deteriorate and so all of those were replaced and it was serviced. At the same time, they did some tuning up on the engine, replaced the rear shocks and two of the engine mounts in the car. So let's uh, close the hood, start the car. Everything works. Windows go up and down. Windows go up and down. Wipers work. Won't bother with that. Everything is functional, including the radio. Now the antenna, the antenna goes up and down automatically, and that works. Conditioning was converted to R134 and serviced and blows cold. And it's a warm day here in Maryland. <laughs> 